My little boy is rather remarkable, little boys are. He plays tag. And there's a line in the game of tag that we all remember, and it's simple. When you tag someone, you say, you're it. You're it. You're it, my young friends. I'm interested in pediatrics, medical field, and I'm also interested in getting a major in either biology or chemistry. I want to go into the medical field. I want to study pre-med, and I want to major in biology. I'm tr probably going to go for pre-med in college or university. You're it. I'm considering going into definitely engineering, but I'm still looking at um, exactly what field I'm going to go into, but I'm really interested in systems and industrial engineering. Uh, my field of interest is biomedical engineering. Um, I want to major in forensics with, uh, I either want to do anthropology or um, DNA analysis. I am here because I want to learn about why I should stay in Florida. You're it, my young friends. Very often our students are educated in the K-12 system here and then really don't have an idea of what is that next step in that pathway through college to career. That's what they can learn about right here and feel like the rock stars that they are and actively be recruited to our state colleges, our universities, and to Florida careers. It's time that we treat Florida's top academic students like blue chip athletes. Let's recognize them and let's recruit them. So here you are. Florida needs to have this leadership of this next generation of smart, entrepreneurial, innovative thinkers. And I think this room represents a tremendous amount of talent for Florida. Please take advantage of all these colleges and universities. Make them fight for you, because um, you are exactly the type of student that we want to keep here in Florida. So thank you so much for working so hard to be here today at this event. This was a very rewarding event, I think. There are a lot of very cool, interesting displays and exhibitions and a lot of, a lot of colleges here. So much information to take in, so it's very rewarding. I would say it's worth it. There are a lot of opportunities out there for me that I could get in Florida without having to move a thousand miles away from home. I was looking out of state up until the point that I went around seeing these colleges, what they have to offer. I want to do pharmaceutical research as a chemist, and I didn't know that there were even like summer programs related to that, and there are. Just meeting with these college recruiters, it's, it's a wonderful experience. I hope some of you will help us figure out a way to make homes safer, to protect us from hurricanes, and figure out a way to make automobiles safer so we can prevent accidents. I can't think of a better thing to work on, and we need people like you working on that, and we need you to stay right here in Florida doing that. There is the fierce urgency for us to make sure the top talent in Florida becomes the future problem solvers for Florida, becomes the future doctors, neurosurgeons, lawyers, chemists, a person who finds a cure for cancer. It is with fierce urgency you will interact with universities that want you in their university so they have the opportunity to say they educated you. Our state needs you to pursue STEM studies and to choose to make your career and your home right here in Florida. As we look to diversify our economy and to grow strong communities, the key driver to that is talent. And you are that talent for us. I saw a sign walk when I walked in and it said, today's scholars are tomorrow's talent. And having been in a position to hire engineers for the space program, I can tell you that is extremely true that we need a pipeline of people talented in, in the STEM fields to solve the problems that we don't even know exist yet. Yes, you're it. Florida Education Foundation thinks it's vitally important to invite and, and get full participation of the teachers that are teaching these our young men and women. Why? Not only to reward and recognize them for their dedication and service, but also to encourage more of it, to see how they can have learn other practices from other teachers, other communities, to learn what the colleges are looking for, to learn what the universities are looking for, to understand better what employers 
that are going to employ these science, technology, engineering, and mathematics students so that they can be and provide a more relevant and more useful and beneficial education. I believe that any time a parent and a child have the opportunity to come learn together about the, their collective future, uh, which is what this is all about, the future of the child and their academic growth and their future as well as the family unit, that's very important. Our state is only as strong as those who are committed to making it better. And each and every one of you can play an important role in making the state of Florida a better tomorrow. To the students who have earned this, keep on going. You are going to be our leaders in the future. You have demonstrated your ability to succeed. We need you moving on from high school and into our colleges and universities. We need you working in our workforce. And I have high expectations because somewhere along the way, I believe you also have high expectations and the people around you do too. It's such an eye-opening experience. I can't, there aren't words to describe how good it is. And you finally see you're being recognized as the top student in Florida. And it's such an honor to be here. And then to be considered and be fought for by colleges, I mean, just to see how many opportunities are available to you, it's an awesome, awesome experience. Just like the Oscar winners go to the red carpet for their recognition, these marvelous students and their successes should be experienced, savored, and recognized. And that's what the Sunshine State Scholars Program is all about. Ladies and gentlemen, you're it. And that makes me feel very, very good.